everybody, it's Deanna with ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com. How are you doing today? This is day three after the super moon. And so we've been talking about how to use that energy to propel your life forward and get the greatest results, the most joy, the most happiness ever. So in day one, we talked about how your body is made of water, salt, and electric. And that's what the ocean tide is made of. So as the moon comes closer to the earth, it pulls the tide in different directions. It pulls our physical bodies in different directions, therefore causing our hearts or our energies and emotions to shift and change. That's why the super moon is so dynamic and so powerful for us to use to shift our frequencies. And your frequency helps you to achieve everything. <laughs> so. If your frequency is really low and you're having a particularly bad day, have you ever noticed how your day goes from bad to worse? Well, why is that? Well, that's because your frequency is low. Therefore, your magnetic pull is to draw low things to you, to draw dark things to you, sadness, anger, fear, anxiety, and it all feeds on each other. So the desired outcome is to pull your energy up and to be happy and to be joyful. And if you exercise every day and read something positive every day and meditate or pray every day, that will pull your frequency higher and you'll begin to manifest greater and greater things. Yesterday, we talked about your beliefs, your perceptions, and your judgments. And I asked you all to make notes about what you believed about yourself, what you perceived about yourself, and what judgments you held on yourself. Why is that important? Well, with this new supermoon, when we dig deep and we find out what's truly bothering us inside, the darkness that's been there for a long time, perhaps old family values or habits that don't honor us, or things people told us when we were small, or just beliefs that are carried by our society or perhaps the religion or spirituality we belong to. When those things are put into us early in our lives and deeply believed, they affect us and they affect us for the rest of our lives. So now that you've identified those, ask to be purified and to see the truth, the love, and the light of every situation. The truth will set you free. The love is the vibration of spirit and spirit wants us all to be prosperous and feel loved. The light brings up everything that needs to be seen and can be washed clean and we can see the brightness and the light within ourselves and the joy within ourselves. So use tonight to really let go. Ask God's Spirit or Source to truly help you put the worries of your heart up on a shelf and allow that wave to come in and push them away. So, uh, anyways, sorry, uh, somebody was writing in and they had a question. So the question is, how exactly does that work? When you release these energies, you're putting them basically outside of yourself. And the vibration will float out and away from you. And then you have to dissipate it or bring it down a little bit. Otherwise, it'll come back to you. So how that's done is visualize God's love or Spirit's love coming in the top of your head, going all the way down your body, down below your feet, and then coming up on the outside like the shape of an apple and then coming back up to the top of your head. And every time you grab the divine love, it goes down through your body and washes out and comes up and washes down to the ground to ground you and washes up again. And all that will push the negative frequency and the negative energies away. Anyways, if you need help, Tomorrow, I'm going to be in Denver at For Heaven's Sakes Books. And the last I heard, I think there's two appointments left for tomorrow at a special discounted rate of $20 off the normal price. So treat yourself. I know the holidays are coming up and you might be stressed out. Now's the time to come on down. Get the help that you need. If you can't come to Denver and gosh, your Lear Jets in the shop, <laughs> you could just give me a call at 970 391-2913 or you can text me and I'll be glad to get you some help and get things started. But until then, again, just put those judgments out, 
feel God's love washing you clean or Spirit's love washing you clean or the earth energy, if that's your orientation, and let it go and then begin to build yourself a new story. What would you like your story to look like? That's tonight's homework. If you could write anything you wanted to about your life, what would it be? I'm prosperous. I'm happy. I have the greatest relationship ever. And then every day from here on out in the morning when you rise up in the morning, state those things out loud by looking at yourself in the mirror. And your conscious and subconscious mind will begin to move you in that direction. And spirit will bless it. Anyways, have a great and wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Big kisses. Have a great day.